What is up guys? Real quick, I wanted to show you guys the dissection of the headlight assemblies on my Outback. Um, I think these are the same for the Subaru Outback and Legacies 2005 to 2007. Really the only difference between the Outback XT and Legacy GT with the uh, regular Outbacks and stuff. The uh, XTs and GT, they have this darker insert here. The other ones are all chrome, but that's pretty much it. I, I actually deleted the amber. There used to be amber plates in here, and they're actually, you can just remove them. Once you take this apart, you, this clips off. This is also another little assembly. There's just these tabs on the ends, and it's really easy. You just come from behind, and you just push one tab, push the other, and that just pops out. And then the orange things, they come out as well. Um, so if you're trying to go for, like, the, the JDM look, it's actually pretty simple to just take it apart and do that. Well, I say simple. Actually, getting them apart is the hardest part, but, uh, you can tell this was starting to get gross. The reason I took them apart is because there was a bunch of moisture getting in there. The seal was bad, and I think there's a crack on both of them somewhere. So moisture was getting in, and eventually this whole inside was wet. And I kept busting headlight bulbs because the moisture kept hitting them. So that's where the bright lights, the uh, high beams go. And that's the uh, low beams. And your turn signal comes through that socket there. And you can see this lens was like, unfortunately, there's no way it's coming back. I've tried as much as I could, and I mean, it's just so scratched and just, it's the inside that's the worst, and I've tried cleaning it, and that's just not going to happen. So, I figured, I ended up just ordering a new set, 200 bucks. Not too bad. I mean, that's really a lot, but, oh well. But, and then, yeah, so this goes on there, that just clicks in, and then this will go on top of that and that's an actual assembly right there because the chrome and stuff that actually has a couple screws so that screws to that and then this will be a whole assembly which will eventually screw to this and you obviously glue it on there and stuff but yeah you can see it's all kind of gross but yep yeah. and then obviously the rear of it So, anyways, I'll show you the front of the car real quick, because it's kind of taken all apart. <laughs> what a mess. Anyways, this is where it went. It's kind of annoying. If you've never messed with the Outback or Legacy or Subaru, well, I don't know if all, all Subarus are like this, but to get the actual headlight off, you have to get this big bracket off before you can take the headlight off. And before all that, you have to take the whole bumper off. So... It's kind of a pain. The skid plate's off because I did the oil change, and this car pisses everywhere if you don't take that skid plate off when you're changing the oil. Even if I use a funnel, whatever. Uh, but some nasty washer fluid. And yeah. Anyways, that's pretty much all I got for you. Hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, I'm not sure what's happening, but there's a possibility I'm going to be getting a new car here soon. A second car. I'm trying to get like a little Honda because I just got a new job and the drive is quite a lot. I don't want to put all the miles on this car. Um, I want to keep this car, but to be honest, we're going to have to wait and see what happens because it's definitely getting up to its mileage being kind of high. So <sighs> we'll see what happens. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions or comments, let me know below and we'll see you guys next time.